welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber but if you are new here please subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when i upload a new video so guys today i am back again with a very interesting video and it is about italians <laughs> we are going to be discussing about weird italian old beliefs in italian they say vecchie credenze <laughs> and also i believe every country has got its own old beliefs even my country which is tanzania it has got its own old beliefs disclaimer guys i'm not trying to criticize italians or criticize italian culture not at all i'm not also going to say that these old beliefs if they are real or not real if i believe in them not at all of course i believe in god <laughs> so i'm just giving you a life experience because you all know that this channel is also about life experience so have fun get that life experience get to know that italians too have got their own old beliefs so enjoy this video number one old italian belief is that ladybugs brings luck in the house they bring fortune so if you come across a ladybug in an italian home you are not supposed to kill it so that it brings luck your way it brings fortune in your life but if you kill it then it means bad luck <laughs> so whenever you see a ladybug you know that luck is coming your way that is italian belief i don't know <laughs> if it is true or not <laughs> Number two Italian old beliefs is that on a New Year's Eve, everyone should dress up in red underwears. <laughs> this means that if you put on red underwears on a New Year's Eve, then the year which is coming, it means there is going to be a lot of success, a lot of luck, a lot of good things on your way. So many people dress up in red underwears here in italy who believe in that old belief <laughs> another belief uh, is also associated with new year's eve people eat lentils it means lack also another also weird old beliefs associated with <laughs> new year's eve <laughs> is that italians <laughs> should make love couple a couple makes love on a new year's eve which means that the coming year this couple will make love the whole year <laughs> this is weird and funny but that is how italians believe the one who believes in this old beliefs number three if you find a black cat <laughs> in the middle of the road you're supposed to change your way and go the other way because if you cross that road it means that bad luck are going to come your way misfortune <laughs> but for us tanzanians if you find a black cat in the middle of the road and you knock it accidentally then it means that it is very very bad luck but italians if you come across <laughs> a black cat no matter you are driving or you're just walking by foot it means that you need to change your way so that you can go away from those bad lacks from those misfortune they believe a black cat brings misfortune if it crosses your way <laughs> italians believe guys i have not said that I believe this but this is Italians old beliefs before Italian old beliefs is that a groom is not supposed to see the wedding dress before the wedding day so your future husband should see your wedding dress on your wedding day at the church not before that that is how these Italian old beliefs are <laughs> if a groom sees this dress before the wedding day it means that 
this marriage is going to be full of misfortunes. In fact, they believe it might not last. So Italian brides hide their dresses before the wedding because they say, if the groom sees it, then it's bad luck. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Number five Italian old beliefs is that if you're talking to someone and then this person curses you, you are supposed to run immediately and touch the iron. <laughs> if you touch the iron, it means that those misfortune, those curses that this person has given you will go away. <laughs> that is how they believe it. <laughs> So if someone curses you, or oh, let's take an example, it's a very important day, you don't want that day to rain, then <laughs> you're talking to a friend and then this friend is like, mm, today is going to rain. You're going to run immediately and touch the iron so that it doesn't rain. <laughs> but another funny thing, guys, <laughs> which I've seen, they also say that, if someone curses you or if you don't want any misfortune to come to you someone has been told something which is bad you're supposed to touch your private parts <laughs> this means that those misfortunes the curses are going to go away <laughs> to touch <laughs> very funny so this one has reminded me of a tanzanian old belief whereby you are not supposed to laugh at a crazy person or to laugh at someone who is a cripple it is a very bad thing to do but you know young people <laughs> the teenagers can can sometimes do weird things so if you find yourself laughing at a crazy person or a mad person or someone who is crippled you are supposed to spit like so that <laughs> You don't get a baby who is crazy or who is crippled. They tell you to spit, especially if you are a woman. If you forget to spit, your friends will remind you that you need to spit because remember, you are a woman. <laughs> so you have to spit. <laughs> if you laugh at someone who is crazy or someone who is <laughs> a cripple. This is Tanzanian old belief. So I compare it with this of Italians, whereby if someone curses you, you need to touch the iron. For us, we don't touch the iron, we spit. <laughs> Number six, Italian old belief. They believe that salt, this salt we use to cook, it can take away bad luck in the house. It can take away misfortune. <laughs> misfortunes so you need to take this salt and spread it in the house if you have a feeling bad luck is coming into your house <laughs> Italian way that is how Italian old belief is that is how they believe it I don't know if it is true or not but this is the old thing that has been there for ages <laughs> <laughs> and I also compare this to Tanzanian belief whereby if someone has got a lot of bad luck in her or his life people tell this person that you go to the ocean you know we have Indian Ocean in Tanzania so you have to go to the ocean and have a bath or swim <laughs> or touch this ocean water because ocean water has got salt so they say if you go and swim in the ocean or touch ocean water then all the bad luck will go away from you <laughs> so I try to compare it with with this Italian old belief of spreading salt in the house to take the misfortune away <laughs> very funny number seven Italian old belief is that you are not supposed to pass in the middle of the ladder. You know this ladder, the one we use to, if you want to fix maybe the light, that one. <laughs> you, you are not supposed to pass in the middle of that ladder. 
if you pass in the middle of that ladder it means bad luck misfortune so italians believe if you pass in the middle of that ladder it is misfortune so you are supposed to go across that ladder if you want to go the other side but don't pass in the middle of that ladder number eight italian old belief is that never open an umbrella in the house never ever <laughs> If you open an umbrella in the house, inside the house means a very bad luck, misfortune. So don't you ever open an umbrella in an Italian house. <laughs> that is their own belief, guys. I don't know. <laughs> so this one, guys, is very similar to a Tanzanian old belief that if you hear an owl, crying it means bad luck in fact for tanzanians it means funeral if it is crying near your home or if you hear a dog or a cat crying near your house means funeral for tanzanians it is an old belief that it brings a very bad luck it means funeral and if you're having someone who is sick who is in the hospital then people really get scared if they hear an owl crying or a cat or dogs but for italians they believe if you hear an owl crying means bad luck and misfortune <laughs> like i told you guys i don't know if it is true or not for me i believe in god <laughs> Number 10, Italian old belief is that if you break a mirror in the house, whether it is a big mirror or a small mirror that we use to <laughs> do our makeup or to look ourselves into the mirror, if you break it, then it means bad luck. Or a bottle of oil, especially olive oil, it's the one that is in a glass bottle if it breaks means misfortune means bad luck <laughs> so guys don't break a bottle of oil in an italian home it means misfortune it means bad luck this is an italian old belief <laughs> and not even bad luck seven years of bad luck in your house or to yourself <laughs> and lastly <laughs> very funny never sit on the angle of the dining table in an italian home they believe that if you sit on the angle and you are not married yet if you sit on the angle of the table you will never get married or you will never marry <laughs> that is how they believe it so that is the end of our italian old beliefs i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it very interesting if you did please give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think is going to enjoy it and learn something <laughs> watch my other videos too don't forget to comment below what you think i love you so much don't forget to subscribe please <laughs> let us meet in my next video ciao ciao i love you so much you